Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Guye and you're watching Guye B TV. So I'm back today with a chit chat get ready with me. If this is your first time here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and join the family. So today, I'm just gonna beat my face. If you are coming back, welcome back. Um, I already did my eyes because I feel like that takes forever and I hate when I make like 40 minute long videos because my eyes take like forever. So I did that and that just makes the process a lot easier. Um, let's do our church announcements. First and foremost, I am back. We'll see how long, but I'm back. Um, second, I got a new mirror. So it's lit. Like I got a legit mirror and it has a light and everything, which I'm excited about because I've been needing a mirror that I don't have to hold so that's exciting um third my giveaway ends um this Tuesday that because May 1st is Tuesday so it ends this Tuesday and I will be picking a winner and I will announce that in one of my videos in May so that's that and last but not least I'm wearing lashes today if you guys can tell your girl has some lashes on um I never wear lashes, but today I felt like trying something new. So, let's get into this. Um, I'm going to continue finishing my eyes and we can just talk. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are wondering, like, where have you been? What have you been doing? You were being so consistent. You were doing so well. What happened? So, the T is life happened. Like, school just got really busy and I got really... Well, first and foremost, I started that job I've been telling you guys about for months and it's really mentally challenging. Like you have to be um, on your A game always and it's it's a lot to learn if you're not all in focused. So I really had to like be present at work and really, really just like understand like all the different procedures that we have because if you mess up somebody's account you're kind of screwed and you don't want to screw anyone over so it's it's lit you know it's legit and you really have to be on your a game always so that was a huge reason to why i haven't been on and then the second one is just school it got really overwhelming like I woke up this morning doing homework and I took a break because so I'm like, you know what, like, let me get my filming in while I can and then go from there. So I am filming and then I'm going back to homework. Um, it's beautiful outside, so I'm going to go somewhere where they have like an outdoors area and whatnot and just hang out there and do the rest of my homework. And then I'll just see what I want to do with the rest of my day, but... School got really overwhelming and busy and I thought I could handle it, but apparently not. And I couldn't handle it with adding YouTube on there, so that's a huge reason why I like, I just stopped making videos, but I got a lot of good comments and feedback on my last video about faith and I'm happy. I'm really glad you guys enjoy that kind of content. I've realized that my purpose has a lot to do with me sharing my journey and me sharing what I do to keep my faith what I do to deal with certain situations you know and so I'm gonna be doing a lot more of those videos and we may not always agree on what I'm saying but I promise you there is a purpose for for everything you know oh my gosh wearing lashes is just so foreign to me do you guys like lashes on me or do you like it better when I'm just chilling? Because I feel like I don't I don't know how to act. But um, I'm thankful. Like I'm thankful you guys really like that stuff. That's the stuff I'm going to talk about. And for so long I was so nervous because I'm like people are going to think I'm weird. People are just not going to understand me. People are going to judge me. But like I've been judged my whole life. So this is nothing new. Um, and I just, I don't know. I get really good responses when I just talk. <laughs> out of my heart and not think about what someone else is thinking about me or the situation or whatever it is that I may be talking about. So I'm just going to do more of that. Um, so 
yeah i hope you guys enjoy that content Ooh! i'm always i'm of course gonna do makeup as well but i'm really gonna get into my talking because i feel like god gave me a voice and so many people say like dude god gave you a voice like use it and i think it's time that i actually do use it you know and so yeah that's that um i haven't been able to balance youtube school and work but i'm working at it this week is the week where i finally feel like okay i think i got a grasp of things and i'm gonna uh, make a schedule and implement implement it every day where um i work obviously 8 to 4 30 monday through friday but each day to have like an hour for homework an hour to maybe work out and an hour for something youtube related um and I, I think I'm going to just stick to filming on the weekends because that's... Because when I get home, y'all, I'm, honestly, I'm tired. Unless you guys want to see content that's like vlog. Vlogging content. I don't mind vlogging certain things like going to do homework and just um, doing that. But I don't know. You guys let me know because I just don't want to be on anything too crazy. So, Yeah. I'm going to use my Smashbox primer, even though this isn't like a tutorial, but I will just let you know anyways. Um, but yeah, I've just been really, just really thinking like everybody in this world, like we've all been through some things. We are all, some are still going through some things and like it's a real, it's a hard knock life, you know, like life is not easy, but there are tips and tools that you can use to maneuver through life where you won't be stressed out or you won't um act out if something goes wrong you know what i'm saying like there's ways to conduct yourself to where you don't let life do you but you're doing life you know what i'm saying so i want to share those tools with you guys and know that like you're not alone. Everyone's been through something. For every reaction, there, for every action, there's a reaction. So, for every reaction, there's an action. If that makes sense. But I'll get into, deeper into that later. What else is, has been going on? Um, I'm in the process of moving to a new apartment. I am apartment hunting. I want to be out of this apartment by June, or I want to like start. I want to find an apartment by the end of May and hopefully June 1st will be like a move-in date. So I've also been like looking, where's my foundation, there it is. Um, so I've been looking for places because you girl is, well my lease is almost up. I've been in this apartment for almost two years and I just want something different. So I'm looking for a two bedroom this time and yeah, I'm, I think I'm ready for that. A nice two bedroom, one for my YouTube studio so that I don't have to always be moving things around and I can have my bedroom be my bedroom where I can just sleep and not look at chaos like I am right now. <laughs> but the other side of this just looks a mess, like clothes and bins and whatnot. But yeah, I need to start doing that. So I'll be packing and doing laundry and getting rid of stuff shortly i'm not sure how i'm gonna get rid of some stuff i have so many like jeans that don't fit anymore and they're like pretty new i thought about donating them but i never know like where those things go you know like are they donated to be sold or are they really just being being given to girls who need it um i thought about finding an a women's organization where i know it's gonna go to girls and that they're not gonna have to pay for it, that they're able to keep it, something like that, you know, where it makes a difference. So I've been looking for places, I don't know, I have some bins that are like ready to go because those clothes are just not what I'm into anymore and I've had them for years. So yeah, I don't know, you guys let me know. If you're in Nebraska, if you know any organizations that would love some clothes from like was it size five and up and i think i may have some even uh smaller than that because i used to be tiny my weight used to fluctuate forever so let me know i would definitely love to donate my clothes so i know they're going somewhere instead of just like throwing them off at goodwill which is not a bad thing either i mean 
the Goodwill is a pretty good place too, but I just want it to go somewhere where, where I know, where I personally know it's going, you know, or maybe even like a Sudanese organization, like hit me up because I, I have clothes for days that I need to just, just go. But I think I have one person in mind and I'm going to hit her up actually first and see if that's something she's interested in. I mean, I don't know, but I will do that. What concealer do I want to use? Um, I'm just going to use the LA Pro even though this irritates my skin. It still does me justice. I'm just excited. The sun is out. I'm like excited for summer. I am excited to move. I'm excited to get on get a consistent schedule going with just life. Um, if y'all want to do like a plan with me thing, it might not be like a YouTube video, but it may be like a Facebook group where I can come live and we can just talk about like how to organize this part of our our lives and whatnot. I can definitely do that or I can try to make a video it's just more it's easier when it's an interactive thing instead of me just talking you know and then I get the feedback back later with YouTube like you don't get a comment until the video is posted you can't really respond to somebody so that's a little bit tough okay this does not want to come out um I guess I'll use where are my other concealers? I feel like... And my makeup is in, in shampoos. Like, I have them in these bins. I'm like, okay, let me, like, get organized. And it only, like, made it worse. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Um, but I guess that's just what it's going to be until, until I figure it out. And I don't want to use this because I feel like, yeah, this is going to be too light for my the struggle the struggle um okay I guess we're just gonna use it and see how light it is yeah it's it's super light but we're gonna just do it lightly haha <laughs> the irony it's light but we're gonna do it lightly like yeah way too light But basically, yeah, my life, my life, a mess. But it's a beautiful mess. Um, so I like to call myself a beautiful mess because sometimes there's beauty in mess, but then sometimes it's just mess and it has to go. Okay, I guess this is not bad. One thing I've been obsessed with. Okay, I want to sing to you guys oh, an insert from Hamilton. Um, no, I don't. I changed my mind. I'll do it. I want to do a cover, but I know like their instrumentals are copyrighted, like they're owned by someone. And if you use it, of course, you're gonna get hit with a copyright lawsuit real quick. And I don't want that, but I'll figure it out because I really love it. Um, I don't know. I started going back to church again, that's exciting. Um, there wasn't any specific reason why. I just feel like I learned I learned a lot from church. So I went to this church called Christ Place. Um, I'm really iffy about churches because I feel like a most of the time when I go to church, I get the same like lessons from my podcast, which is a church sermon anyway. So it's like. I don't physically have to go to a building to be like, okay, like, oh, I go to church. I can just listen on my podcast and it works, you know, but it just felt good to go. I, nothing dramatic happened in my life where it's like, oh, I'm going back to church. I just felt like, I personally felt like it was something I needed. That's it. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like dramatic like it usually is but this time it's not um so yeah I went, I'm starting going back to church I go to church on Saturdays instead of Sundays it's Saturday at 6 p.m. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go tonight um depends on if I get homework done and all that um but I I mean I, I I'm liking it thus far 
I don't want to speak and then, you know, it turns out to be something else. But I, I like it. When my Maggie used to live here, we used to go to that church on Sundays. But there's something about certain churches that I just don't feel like it fits me. It's like a, it's, it's a predominantly white church, but it has, you know, different nationalities there. So it's not like I'm the only one that's of, of another culture. But... Like I said, I just be feeling some type of way about certain churches. And that's okay, you know. We should be allowed to have um, our opinions about where we go and where we worship and how we receive God. So I think that that's healthy. That's a healthy conversation to have with someone. Um, but yeah, so that's that. What else have I been up to? Honestly, just, just trying to keep it together. That's all, you know. That's all you can do is day by day keep it together and work on yourself. And that's what I've been on. Um, let's talk about some new podcasts. Um, I've been listening to... Let me see. Have I listened to anything new lately? I started listening to Coriel, her, her, uh, what is her, let me go to my library, um, Confessions of a Workaholic and Therapy for Black Girls, so those are the two new ones, and then also Redefining Wealth with Patricia Washington, I'm just like starting those, I've heard a couple of, of, um, episodes from each one but I mean I haven't really gotten into it yet but I still listen to you know One Church LA the well the Potter's House LA now and and uh I started listening to the Breakfast Club on there I usually just listen to it on YouTube but that kills your data so I was like you know what we're just gonna we're gonna have to do this thing this way and at work, I can listen to all that, so I do. Um, new albums or songs, I, I listen to the whole Cardi B album. I love it. Like, Cardi B, like, she reminds me of myself. You know, like, we all have... We all have people who doubt us, and we all have people who tell us who we can be who and who we will never be and it's like she continues to prove people wrong she's well aware that she is the underdog and she just kills it and i love that about her i'm like girl like yes this is this is it like you know i i relate to women like that often because i feel like i am the underdog and i continuously have to prove myself and i've learned to be okay with that but sometimes it's it's a bit frustrating because it's like, why am I, I'm, I always feel like I'm counted out until I prove myself to be allowed in. And it's like, it shouldn't be like that, you know, but it's life. You got to just keep proving people wrong and doing your own thing and knowing, know that God has a plan for you and that he, he orchestrates everything in our lives and when it's meant to be it will be and what's meant for you will be for you so I don't I don't try to live by anything else so by the way I'm using the it's my railway palette I used it for my eyes and for like the contour and everything so yeah that's the Cardi B album. I also listened to Kaylani. It took me so long to get into her because I hate. I grew up not liking things that I already didn't know. So if it's something new, I'm like, I don't care. I don't want to know it. But I've been giving a lot of new artists or artists that are new to me a chance. And I really love Kaylani. Her heart is so beautiful. And, um, and I'm excited to know more about her. One of the songs... Her intro to her newest album, oh my gosh, it made me cry. It was so beautiful. Um, that sexy, savage, sexy, sweet, savage or something. It's just beautiful. Like, you have to listen to it. Um, it's, it's just really good. I really connected with her and I'm like, oh my god, she could, she and I could be really good friends because she's really into herself. 
in a, in a healthy way and I'm like I feel you sister I feel you so I'm gonna use am I gonna use this one we'll see this is Mac it is stone we'll see how that goes Yes, I'm lining my lips black with a black liner. Don't judge me. Do, 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 wanna be a distraction, baby. Pretty sure I'm gonna need my lighter one. Oh. My lips are always a mess, but this is it, y'all. This hair is Eunice hair. If you guys are interested, it's so beautiful and fluffy. Um, I haven't been happy with hair in a while, and Eunice just brought me back to life. I have another Eunice unit, and I've had it since 2016, and I still wear it. It's curly, and that's how long the hair lasts. So... This is their Peruvian Body Wave. Um, I got a 12 inch closer, 14, 16, 18 in wefts. So, yeah, this is the look. Hope you guys like it. Love it. Live it. Where's my spray? Let me get my phone away from it. I always get stuff on it. well this is it you guys i really like the look a lot if you guys like these videos to chatting with me give this video a thumbs up i missed you guys i will be responding to the comments in my old video like i said i've just been so busy and just really trying to jumble everything and not stress myself out that i just didn't do the youtube part but i will be working on that um i love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video and leave me comments and hearts because you know I love those and just make sure to share the positivity and spread it around. So that's it y'all. See you guys in my next video. Bye.